Hello everyone. If you have not subscribed to my channel as yet, please do it now. So today we will talk about the lecturate. As you all know, lecturate is the confirmatory series test in the GTO test. Now many candidates find it difficult to speak publicly. Here you have to stand in front of your group and speak for three minutes. The GTO will provide you a card. Rather, you will be required to pick up from the many cards which are kept on the GTO table. Pick up any card. Four topics will be there. Choose any one topic. Now, choosing a topic is also important. There will be four topics of varying difficulties. So, you have to keep a balance between the difficulty as well as your knowledge. Try to choose the most difficult topic if you are able to speak on that, if you have sufficient data and sufficient information, sufficient knowledge base for that. If you are choosing a weaker topic, a simple topic, it shows that your confidence is low, your preparation is low. So, but again choosing a very difficult topic and where you do not know anything about that will be a total flop. So, think quickly and think in a balanced manner which topic to select. Now after you have selected the topic, you will be given 3 minutes to prepare. So think quietly, your, arrange your thoughts in your mind. You are not allowed, allowed to write on any paper, paper and pen is not allowed. So in your mind only you have to organize your thoughts. And then come and speak for 3 minutes. Now some candidates have raised a question, they have asked me, Sir, are we allowed to move our hands in lecturate, in interview, in group discussion? My answer is no. You are required to talk from your mouth, not through your hands or gestures. That is not considered decent. So keep your hands by your side or in your lap or on your knees or behind your back if you are standing. So whatever way you feel comfortable, but hand gestures are not allowed and not allowed means uh, should not be done. It is not considered good. Secondly, nodding your head from here and here and all that is also bad. Mild nodding or mild hand gestures also, sometimes, yes, you can say that that is acceptable. But too much of hand movement or too much of body movement or too much of head movement is not considered good. So that way, while speaking, keep this in mind. Now the next point comes, how to prepare your lecture. So if you have not taken part in a school uh, debate or public speaking or uh, like newspaper reading and all that in a school, a lot of uh, Exposure is given to students, but unfortunately, if you have not done that, don't worry. Now also you can practice at home. So how you will practice? You stand in front of a mirror and speak loudly, looking into your own eyes. So with this, your hesitation, your fear of the audience will be removed. Now, when you are giving your lecture in your SSB, then also you should cover the audience from left to right. You are not required to look at the GTO, but your group mates, your teammates who are sitting there, you must cover the audience. Now penetrating look into the eyes of uh, your teammates or your audience will make you nervous. So still after practice, if you are not able to form this habit of looking into the eyes, then don't look straight into the eyes, but focus on the forehead. So that way you will remove your fear of speaking. And I hope this will help you in uh, uh, performing your uh, lecture quite nicely. Now when we come to the preparation part, as I told you, first thing is prepare and practice to speak in front of the mirror. That will boost your confidence. 
now the topics are there so much matter is there how to remember so two three methods are there number one is uh, you make the acronyms take the first letter of every important word and make an acronym like asean asean is the acronym for association of south east asian nations so first letter of each word has been taken same way you can take first letter of each important point and make an acronym secondly you can make a sentence a quick brown fox jumps over a white lazy dog this sentence contains all 26 alphabets of the english language it will be difficult for you to recall all the alphabet in a random manner in an organized manner from a to z you can remember but in a random manner you may not be able to remember so when you have make a made this sentence a quick brown fox jumps over a white lazy dog all letters of the alphabet are included in this another thing nine planets in the order in whatever order they are slightly difficult to remember but a sentence my very educated mother just showed us nine planets this is the sentence i'll repeat my very educated mother just showed us nine planets my m for mercury very venus educated earth mother mars just jupiter showed saturn us uranus nine and neptune planets p pluto so these are the nine planets in order so this way you can form a sentence also whatever way you consider it easy for you now one more very popular method is mind mapping you make a map of the mind inside your mind and write it down on the paper so make a circle in in the center write down your topic and then small small circles around it in that you write down important points so it helps you in visualization this picture will be easy for you to remember so from this picture when you are speaking on the topic read out from this picture in the mind you keep a photo of that picture and see that on the left hand side i have written this then this then this like this all over the circle you go and come to 6 7 points 5 6 points you can write so that you are able to speak for about 20 30 seconds on each point and uh, like this 3 minutes will not be a long period so i hope you have liked this uh, talk on the how to prepare for lecture and keep watching thank you